More than any other physical feature, San Angelo's uniqueness and beauty among West Texas cities is defined by the river that runs through it. The Concho River is the very reason this community was settled. Hundreds of years later, its people remain drawn to the Concho's still waters, its shaded banks, and, as of recently, its sundry attractions. San Angelo voters in 2004 approved $13 million in half-cent sales tax revenues to improve the Concho River. Another $2 million was secured through a half-dozen grants, raising the total amount available to $15 million. The improvement project has, in essence, consisted of four phases, dredging, bank stabilization, trail rehabilitation, and the addition of a wide assortment of accessories. You know, uh, Craig Kenny has been our architect along the way, and he's worked very well with the staff and, and the council and the various boards at looking at what we wanted. And, and that's been a discussion for years because you hear, well, San Angelo is not San Antonio, so we're not trying to create San Antonio. On the other hand, you go to Austin. Austin's got a great river running through town, and it's a very different setting. I think San Angelo has a unique setting of being sort of in between. It's not as uh, small and intimate as the San Antonio area may be, but like in Austin, you really the river's so large that you can jog along it and those kind of things, and you can, but it's not very intimate at all because it's so massive. So San Angelo offers kind of a unique in between, and so I think everyone wanted to retain that uh, feeling that it has. It has a, a very welcoming opening feel. You like to go out there, look at the sunsets, but wanted to put some more activity and put some more uh, emphasis on getting down close to the river. So that's why you'll see the trails now that, that go to the river. Uh, the fountains that we have that have been refurbished are uh, more accessible. Uh, they're ones that you can walk across in places and get your feet wet. Uh, it, it, it encourages more interaction uh, than we had before. And, and in some areas, we're setting up the games courts, those kind of things, to really start pushing more activity to happen down there and hopefully encourage uh, development along the river for businesses. Most customers are so thrilled to see the water and the river that they're thrilled to death that there's work being done on it. They're more thrilled that there's water. So that just is an enhancement that's an added value. We get a lot of heritage travelers and visitors here in San Angelo. We have a lot of people from Midland and Lubbock and they're passionate about the downtown area because they're passionate about water, which they don't have the luxury that we have of a river running through our downtown area. And I often think about it as, you know, many homeowners put in swimming pools or fountains in their backyard. Very few people use their swimming pools, but they love the sound of water. There's a peacefulness, a, a relaxation thing that comes from the water. And I think people have such joy in walking to our, through our downtown area, going to the river, the, the walks, the trails, the I see a lot of people who are not even from here. They're staying in hotels with sneakers on and because they've walked that morning for um, around the river, then they come to lunch. So it's such a positive and people love it. They love this town. They love that river. They love the downtown and you put all of that together. It's a package. St. Angel exists at this location because of the river and being a student of history, I know that most great cities are along rivers. The rivers bring life, uh, they bring water, they bring agriculture to a city. Um, so the river is all about life in San Angelo. It's what really most folks remember and enjoy about San Angelo after they've left. I, I hear often folks are really thrilled about what we've done down here at the river. And when they think about San Angelo, they think about the river and downtown. So I think it's important because it, it it kind of uh, celebrates who we are as San Angelo. Well, the river, as everyone knows, had some a lot of sediment buildup in areas. And, and years back, we had dredged portions of the river, but ne had never done a lot of it. So we tried to go in and, and look at those areas where we had not dredged the river and, and focus on those for the dredging dollars that we had available. Um, as you know, that makes the water depth uh, greater and so it just increases the water quality. Uh, years back we were having a lot of fish kills, those kind of things that were happening and that wasn't totally because of the water depth, it was uh, because of things that were washing into the water, whether they're 
fertilizers or this or that. And so we've done a lot of educating in that regard for the public to uh, work on those. Uh, and we've put in some aqua swirls and things that uh, catch those before they ever enter the river. But the next thing was to go ahead and get that sediment out. Um, and it being a, a river that doesn't flow all the time, that's always going to be something that we'll have to look at. So uh, as we put the catch basins in, it'll help alleviate that problem and we won't have to dredge as often. But this was an area that we needed to focus on. Once you increase the water depth, of course, it increases the water quality. The water has a, is healthier and, and that's our goal as well to not only uh, beautify it and stabilize it, but let's try and make the water quality better as well. Rivers naturally change their course, you know, outside of the city. So the rivers are always shifting their course and going different directions. In a city, you can't, you can't have that. You've got to be able to control the river. So we've controlled it with different impoundments, different dams. So along the banks, you've got to con control it so you, you don't have the erosion. So you're not losing the bank. Because uh, what it was happening was that we were actually losing park property in, into the river just from the, the settling. Uh, so it's important to be able to control the, the banks, but then again, by controlling the banks, we're able to improve the parks and the properties above that, the parks and the trails. You'll see the areas that are riprap, which are great. That's the cheaper way to stabilize it. It's also a way that the Parks and Wildlife likes because it provides uh, habitat for uh, the native species that may live along there. So. That's the cheaper way and it looks, it looks great. Uh, in some areas though, we wanted to really allow people to get up next to the water. And that's been one of the big things. The river is there, everybody enjoys it, but I like to walk right beside it, whether I'm going to fish or whether I'm just walking there. And so you'll see where we've put in the, the flat stones that we've brought in in, in several areas that, uh, one, it looks really nice. It, it, it has a, a natural look, but it also has a very clean look. So in the downtown area, you'll see a lot of that. Uh, the great part it is, is it allows people to walk right along the side of the river. So if you want to go fishing or you just want to sit on the side of the river and hang your feet down in the water, you can do that. In our documents, we, we call for a lot of stone from this ranch, and you'll see it all along the river. And some of it is used as seating, and it's so flat that it provides a good bench for seating. Some of the boulders that you can get or buy are very irregular, but it's not good for seating. And this stuff was perfect for stacking slabs for bank stabilization. It was perfect for creating seating areas. San Angelo has a, a great trail system that was put in when the, the river project was originally done back in the 80s and we've expanded upon that. Some areas uh, wash really bad, so it's a chat surface. Our runners told us, you know, we want to keep that because it's, it's easier for us to run on. We don't want solid concrete everywhere. So we've tried to keep that chat surface where, where possible. In some areas where it washes all the time, we've gone in and put in concrete uh, so that it'll reduce the maintenance. Um, so really the, there were some areas of the trail that uh, we wanted to address accessibility issues, uh, make it more accessible, um, but we also wanted to maximize the amount of trail we did and potentially increase uh, the length that we had available. So in doing so, we've gotten some grants from the Texas Parks and Wildlife for trail grants to encourage that, but we've, all, we've also used uh, city and inmate labor to help do those things. Throughout the whole river corridor, uh, the improved portion from Bell Street to the east and to the west of 14th Street, there's a trail. So as part of this project, we, we are either replacing that trail, adding to that trail, or refurbishing that trail. Some of that in the core area is done by the contractor, but the rest of it is done in-house. On the Blitz Day, you saw the city employees out uh, doing that, and they were pouring concrete, and we were putting in chat and got a big section of the river done back from 19th Street back toward the Parks Department. Well, there's a lot of neat things going on down there, but if you don't have a good trail to walk on, then uh, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not inviting. So you see runners, you see people just down there enjoying the day, and the trail is the linkage which gives them the accessibility to get where they need to go. There's several unique things about this project. One of them that's really neat are the stone columns that we've added. I think there's about 20, 20 24 of them. And most of them have 
uh, are going to have sculpture panels on them. Very unique, very beautiful uh, sculpture panels that will have, uh, some of them are abstract, but some of them are more realistic that have images of animals and plants. And I think folks are really going to enjoy that. And those columns as well, a lot of them have fossils in the stone, which is something we didn't anticipate. We've also added things like the exercise uh, area that's underneath the Cunningham Bridge right next to Kids Kingdom Playground. And it's, it was placed there, one, because it's under the bridge. You can use it pretty much any time of the year. We're going to have lights under the bridge, but it's also next to the playground. So if you want to let your kids play in the playground and you go exercise the, the, the equipment, you know, it would be a good, good opportunity for that. The lighting systems that were added in the 80s, most of those have failed. So as part of this project, we're adding new lights, basically in the core area from about First Street all the way down to Oak Street is where all the new lighting will be. They're aesthetically really nice. They, they really complement the river trail. But in addition to that, I really like the, the lighting that's going on on the bridges. Uh, so all of that will be LED lighting. Uh, it, it, it will change colors. It'll uh, go with themes, you know, during different seasons or during the Pops concert or whatever, and so it can be programmed to do that. And so I think it's going to add a really neat element to San Angelo, not only for us who live here and get to enjoy it and experience it all the time, but those people who are just driving through town. And you happen to come driving through at night, and when you hit that downtown river area with the, the lighting and, and the, the color lighting, it's just really going to add a neat element to downtown. Uh, also, as part of the project, we've added some, some ramps that could be used for access for maintenance and also for the public as well to bring a canoe or a kayak in and launch. The last few years, me and my family have gone kayaking and, you know, it's a great activity. It's a fun family activity. Uh, you don't have to be extremely talented or a boater to do it. Uh, the kids think it's great. So I think it's going to be a neat amenity to encourage even more activity on the river. Because, you know, as you look at it, you can look at that downtown area. Uh, you can look at the area down where the kayak launch will be as well. And there's other boat ramps where you could put in. But there's some great sections to just uh, go up and down and spend a Sunday afternoon, uh, enjoying the afternoon. And the great part about it, you're on the river. You can get into the shade. You know, you don't have to be out in the sun the whole time. And so I think it's going to be a neat uh, added feature that, that the citizens will enjoy. You know, where else in West Texas do you get that opportunity? There's not a lot of places. Uh, so this will be kind of a neat added amenity. We've added some interesting art, uh, working with art in uncommon places and other artists. Uh, basically all along the trail, there's lots of different features, art features, mosaics, uh, the vehicles that were mosaic are part of this, the river project. You know, they have, we have a thousand people that have worked on each one of these cars, so they're community produced art. And uh, we have generous, generous people. I love being in this town because of it, but they've all contributed tile or time or space. I think the artwork is, is something that, I, I give the community credit for doing that, and, and Art in Uncommon Places has been great in working with that. And San Angelo was fortunate enough to get a, a, a NEA grant, National Endowment on the Arts grant, which is the first one I think we've gotten. And they're closely watching what's going on here because they were excited about, about what San Angelo was doing. So, so you see those art features going in along the river. And they're all unique. I think that particular component is going to grow over the years go, as the years come along. Uh, because it started and, and there's a, a local uh, desire to put that there. And it, and it really makes, you'll see the ones, you've probably seen them as you walk along the river now. Just to have those elements here and there as you're going along just makes it that much more interesting and, and more to look at. It is very priceless to be able to see that work out there. And also that the students that we've taught for 20 years uh, can go by, especially with Artistic San Angelo, because it has all the great artists in the piece. And we hope that they can identify from what we've taught them who these people are. And anytime you view art, um, the serotonin within you is, uh, is lifted and you have a joy that you feel. So we hope everybody gets to experience that. And that is our, you know, our, big, our big wish. So we're, we're thrilled that this could happen. So as part of one of the grants, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Grant, uh, we had to bring in some education, so we've added some interpretive panels underneath Oak Street that talk about 
the early settlement of San Angelo, we'll talk about the fort, talk about the crossing that used to be there near Oak Street, connecting the fort to the city. And it also talks about, you know, the kind of animals and uh, things, plants you'd see along the river corridor. You know, the, the fountains that they have redone, in my opinion, people are going to be really impressed with you. If you haven't seen them, uh, most of those are up and running. And the big thing was they, they took where we used to have much smaller individual pumps trying to pump out of the river to, to flow those fountains. You just never got a, a ton of water flow through them. We've put in a large pumping station now that actually supplies uh, water for all of those water features and actually has the capacity to do additional ones in the future if, if, we choose, if the city chooses to. But uh, it also filters the water before it pumps it through. So it, it tries to provide water that's got less sediment in it and those kind of things. But it also flows enough water through there to where it keeps those clean and keeps them really flowing. Uh, yes, the Parks Department is still going to have to do maintenance because there's trash that gets in there to do those kind of things and, and keep moss and those kind of things out of it. But it flows enough to where when you see it hitting the river, when it's coming off of there, you'll see a churning and, and bubbles and so forth coming out, which does a tremendous job with helping with the water quality. Uh, we've talked over the years and we've had various things that we've done to try and aerate the water over the years to help with water quality. But the fountains that we put in right now are, are really going to help with that. You know, that games court area I think is going to be a really neat feature to try and reestablish some of the things that a lot of us saw down there years ago, whether it was Neffs or whether it was the putt-putt course, um, to really try and draw that activity back down there as a fun area to go to. We've added some specialty areas, uh, like the Games Court area, which is by Irving Street, where the old putt-putt golf course used to be. That includes a uh, bocce ball court, washer pits. Uh, it's going to have a chess playing area. It's going to have a tether ball. Um, it's going to also be a location where we'll have other recreation activities and concessions where folks can um, check out paddle boats and use those along the river or check out kayaks. Um, eventually outside of the project we want to refurbish the putt-putt golf course. There's a sewer line in the back of that that has to get replaced before we can do that. We intend to bring back a concession building of some sort where folks can come check out recreational activities, get a drink, get some food, and then we also want to add the infrastructure for like a food court area which seems to have a lot of support from what we can tell. The goal is to have an area that, that people can come and enjoy. It doesn't cost anything um, you know, the, to enjoy those games areas. So the thought with the food court area is basically borrowed from Austin. They call, I think they call them food carts. And it's very successful in Austin, and we think we can kind of add that to our uh, games court area. I mean, the theme of the games court area is, is all about recreation. So if we provide the the uh, the food trailers, the food carts. It might keep folks down there a little bit longer, uh, give them a reason to stay a little bit longer downtown. This project will be as when it was built in the 80s. You know, you, you started with a concept, but that concept continues to grow and expand. Um, we've been working with the Fine Arts Museum concerning the cultural district, which involves all of this region as well. And so as we look at how that cultural district develops and, and things that happen within it, it all involves the river because the river happens to set in the middle of downtown in the middle of, of these areas. So I think it will constantly evolve. And what we're trying to do is set the groundwork and the base work for all of those things to happen easily from here. It also, as you look at public-private partnerships, uh, such as developing the Neffs area and trying to bring in businesses in that area that would actually front the river uh, as businesses see what the city has invested and, and what's happening down there, it just makes it that much more exciting for them uh, and makes them willing to look at that area as an investment uh, for them to do business in. It's turned out to be the most fun I've, I've had on any job and the, the ability to really impact a city rarely comes along for an architect and yet this is one of those projects that I think can do great things to help bring people both downtown and to the river. And downtown and the river really are becoming of one cloth. And hopefully this project will help to feed development downtown and vice versa. There's a lot of good things that can still happen along the river even after this project is done.
people are looking for a place to go and enjoy themselves. And so this adds another element to downtown. I think there is one uh, link yet that we're still going to have to address. And while we have activity on Concho Avenue and, and Chadburn and, and those areas, there's not a real clear link from those areas down to the river. And while those of us who live here know, you know, you go over here, you go down Oak Street, you go down, we really need to try to develop. And, and one of the things that, that the city has been working on with the chamber is wayfinding and, and signage and those kind of things. So that's going to be one of the key elements to do. But then we're also going to need to try and make those, those areas where you go down to the river more accessible and more visible. So that's one key component I think we're going to have to address still to link the two. San Angelo has a lot to offer, but what most folks remember about San Angelo and really appreciate about San Angelo is the river, river corridor and the downtown and, and Fort Concho that's nearby. So I, I think what we've done is going to help bring locals to enjoy the river more often. It'll definitely help to bring more tourists and keep tourists here longer. And that connection with downtown, with the retail and the, and the restaurants, um, I think it'd be a good, good comp compliment to each other. I think it will have a dramatic impact from out-of-towners, but I think it will also have a dramatic impact with people who live in San Angelo because going out to the lake is one aspect of enjoying water, but this is a whole different aspect. And I know that there are many people who might not want to sit on the sand or don't want to get in a boat, but would love just walking around the water or, or participating in some of the activities that, that are going on or will be going on. Again, that sound of water, the green grass, it's pleasant and it will never be overwhelming um, with people. You know, San Angelo's got a lot of unique components from its people, I think, being one of the most outstanding components to Fort Concho, uh, but the river is another one of those. No West Texas city can, can say they have that except San Angelo for the most part. And when you drive through it, you notice it immediately. And so what better feature to accent but the river? Uh, any direction you're coming through town, you're, you're going to cross it typically. So that just draws that much more attention to San Angelo. And, and not only that, but it, it, it's a component that I think everyone in town is proud of and enjoys. And so with doing that, it just makes it that much more usable for our citizens and visitors who come here to have a feature to enjoy and so you know that's going to be good for san angelo because it's it's not only good for tourism but it's good for the people who live here to enjoy i love when i drive into work or on sundays when i'm here just seeing the number of people whether they're fishing or walking or using uh, photography there's a lot of activity on already and it's not even completed and there's going to be increased activity because I think we're going to have an opportunity to really promote it more, showcase it more. It is going to be a great use of half cent sales tax money. San Angelo's got a winner. I'm proud of the work that's been done. I'm proud of the imagination that went behind it and the creativity and the execution of it. I love the lights that they're doing. I just love it. I think it is one of the greatest things that, that the citizens could have voted to support.